Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today I want to show you how to make an endless flow in Blender. Uh, which, what I mean is just an infinite flow, because you can see that uh, if you add a plane like this, you always have these uh, squared uh, borders uh, that uh, sometimes you don't want. Sometimes you just want them to fade into infinity or to fade into the background. Uh, this is one easy way to do this. So I'm going to be using Cycles, but uh, you can also use EV for this. Maybe I'll just... Uh, switch between the two views so that you can see how it would render. So what we're going to be using here, uh, you can use any texture you want. So let me just add that. Let me preview this from with Eevee here. Uh, let's add any texture you want here. So let me find a texture. Uh, we could use, we could use, let's actually use some PBR textures here so that uh, you can see that uh, you can use this in combination with other uh, material so let me get this uh, wooden surface and first pause this for a second so that it's not slowing down too okay so so let's say we have this surface and uh, let me also just use this as the roughness and just add a math node on top of that to control uh, the roughness maybe i can even break that up by using a different texture uh, the reason i'm adding this up is that it's just to show you that uh, you can use this in conjunction with our uh, different setups so let me find another let's add mixing some grind maps so i can just add mix here maybe use a multiply Actually, this is breaking it up nicely, so I can control the roughness just a bit and maybe even add a bump map here. Yes. Yeah, something like that. I think we would need maybe a light somewhere here. I actually do have a light. Just so you can see when we add add light, it's uh, revealing those corners. Uh, that's that's something we don't want. So uh, to break that off, uh, we can use an alpha map uh, to kind of uh, fade out uh, those edges. So what I'm going to use here is uh, a gradient texture. We actually, don't maybe let me save this. Uh, so if you want one, if you want the project, you can ask request it as a Patreon. So let me just call this uh, gradient. Uh, infinite flow if I'm sparing that right infinite flow yeah, I think I'm spelling that right make sure this is recording okay so now what we can use is a gradient texture so texture mm, gradient texture control shift click the node how to preview that gradient using the node wrangler add-on now I want to change this to a uh, spherical gradient instead of this linear gradient so i'm just going to switch this spherical and i uh, can see that uh, we have this gradient uh, fading from the center here using this as a center of the circle uh, or sphere and uh, fading this side so if we use this as an alpha mask fit this directly you can see we have this kind of transition but uh, it's not very visible here in ev because we need to switch to Let's first switch to EV so that we get these these settings here so that you can change uh, the blend mode of uh, your alpha map. Uh, if you don't switch to EV, I don't think you get those settings uh, because now you only have access to cycles settings. So if you want to use uh, to preview this in EV and cycles as, at the same time, you just have to first change to EV. Uh, change this setting here to alpha alpha blend. I can take off the shadow because this is going to be our yeah, move, move this above at least above yeah, so uh, and uh, the, we don't need this to have uh, shadows image any shadows because uh, it's going to be the flow and then we can come back here change this to cycles and uh, yeah we have that the problem we're having is that uh, this is not in the center is is from this corner here so this is using UV coordinates. Uh, actually, it may not be, but uh, let's make sure that it's using UV coordinates so that 
when we change uh, this UV, let me preview this here just to make sure. So that when we change, it seems to be okay. So the texture is using uh, the UV coordinates, but uh, this gradient doesn't seem to be. So to, to make sure that it does, uh, let's just add Ctrl T, let's add uh, a texture coordinate mapping and change this to UV. But uh, changing the UV map here seems to affect the texture gradient as well, which is something I don't I don't want. So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of controlling this using a UV, uh, which is going to require us to go between uh, the UV editing layout and uh, everything. So we instead of using that, let's just use an object and uh, add a control object. Actually, that centers uh, the the gradient, uh, which if you want, you can just use this uh, because it's using the pivot point of this object uh, to be the center of uh, the surface. And uh, if you move this in the uh, in edit mode, you can see uh, the gradient is not getting affected. And we, I can end the tutorial here because you can see that uh, now we have some a somewhat infinite uh, surface. And, uh, if you scale this up in edit mode, it will just scale up the texture, but it won't scale up the uh, the gradient. So if you want to scale up the gradient, you can add an empty. I'm just going to use a cube empty. Just uh, align it with the ground. And now in the texture coordinate, I'm just going to select that empty uh, to be our object. And now I can scale that up and that should scale up our gradient. So I can control how large uh, that's how how large uh, uh, the gradient is going to be and uh, or how small and uh, if this empty is becoming too big you can just go into uh, the empty object properties and uh, scale it down from that that will only scale down the representation of the empty but not uh, the actual empty itself so that means that uh, your ground is going to stay in one place so you can see now if you add it a different background just maybe make your eye and see that uh, the surface stays uh, infinite I uh, can see that uh, some areas are not really uh, are too transparent uh, so for that you can just add see a uh, convert math node here so convert math node here so that you can control how much how much it, uh, transparency you get in different areas. Uh, you can also change the operation from add, add to power to kind of get more contrast in your gradient and now you can scale up this. Or oh, a better way I think you could just use, instead of using that you can just use, there are lots of ways to operate this but uh, you can also just use a car ramp uh, for this and control the contrast of your gradient like that. So you can see we're still seeing some of the edges there. So I can just bring uh, the contrast up now you can see so if you want less transparency in the middle uh, then you would just have to play with uh, this contrast or scale our surface high, really high and then scale the empty as well but uh, then you see that gradual uh, cut off out uh, then you can play with uh, this uh, gradient to kind of make it fade into uh, the background like that so now you can turn around in every direction and you won't see any sharp uh, corners it will just be the surface fading into uh, uh, the background again you can play with the contrast here if you're starting to see uh, some transparency within the surface yeah so that's it I uh, thank you for watching